I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on sine and cosine law. The question here is, from point B, Ben uses a clinometer to determine an angle of elevation to the top of the cliff to be 38 degrees. From point D, 68 meters away from Ben, Anil estimates the angle between the base of the cliff himself and Ben to be 42 degrees. While Ben estimates the angle between the base of the cliff himself and Anil to be 63 degrees, how high is the cliff if Ben is 158 centimeter tall? I like you to pause the video, understand the question, solve and then look into my suggestions. Now this is a 3D problem. So we need a sketch which could represent the given situation. So let's go for a 3D scale like we have x, y, z axis, right? So, so that is what I've drawn first. Now based on this, as we read, we'll actually sketch uh, the diagram. So it says, Ben uses a clinometer to determine an angle of elevation to the top of the cliff to be 38 degrees. So angle of elevation is given to be 38 degrees. And later, we are also given height of Ben. So, so the critical issue here is that Ben is 158 centimeters tall. That means if we consider that height of 158 meters, and if you locate Ben somewhere here, for example, then the angle of elevation will truly be from the eye level, right? So, so we'll consider that to be the height. So that becomes another plane, right? Let's say that's the top of the cliff. Then we can join these two points to the top and angle of elevation is always with the base. So that becomes the angle of elevation, 38 degrees. Well, the drawing is not to the scale. So that means this height is the eye level, 158 centimeters. Normally, we are going to use meters as the units, as we are given 68 meters distance between Anil and Ben. Right? So let's write it down in meters, which is 1.58 meters. Right. So that's the height of Ben. And let's say 1.8 plus small h is the height of the cliff. Okay. Now, from point D, now this was point B for us, right? From point B. So we'll call this as point B. Now from point D, 68 meters away from Ben, Anil estimates the angle between the base of the cliff himself and Ben. So angle is between, let's try to understand, angle between base of the cliff himself and Ben. So base himself and Ben, you see that. So that becomes the angle. So, so this is the, the position, right? We'll just join it like this. And this is the point D for us. And the angle is given to us as 42 degrees. It says, Anil estimates angle between base of the cliff himself and Ben as 42 degrees. So this is the angle 42 degrees. Correct? And the distance between B and D is given to us as 68 meters. While Ben estimates the angle between base of the cliff, himself and Anil, to 63 degrees. So, so here it is written, Anil estimates the angle between the base of the cliff, himself and Ben to be 42 degrees, while Ben estimates the angle between the base of the cliff, himself and Anil to be 63 degrees. So this angle is 63 degrees. So that actually completes the diagram. So I hope this part is clear. This is the critical part of solving 
such questions. Correct? Now, you can actually pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my solution. So, from this situation, we can always find the missing angle of the triangle. That is, this is 180 degrees minus some of these. Let me label top as T and this point as O. Right? And uh, let me make this point, which is, let me call that as C. Okay. So in that case, the, the angle BOD should be equal to 180 degrees. Take away these two, right? 63 degrees. Take away 42 degrees. So let's find this angle. 180 take away 63 take away 42. That gives us 75 degrees. So this angle is 75 degrees. Now we should find the length BO. Since we have to find the height, we can always use tan ratio to find the height if we know B to O. So to find BO, we'll use sine law, right? We know the opposite side and angle combination. So we can write BO over the angle opposite is 42 sine of 42 degrees should be equal to what is given is 68 and 75 so 68 over sine of 75 degrees correct now from here we can find what bo is so bo is this is the length bo is equal to 68 times sine of 42 degrees divided by sine of 75 degrees. So it is important to note that length of a side is basically proportional to the angle opposite. That is what it is, right? So, so BO, we are multiplying by the angle opposite to BO and dividing by the other angle, correct? So let's calculate this answer. We have 68 times sine 42 equals to divide by sine 75 which is equals to 47.1 which is equal to 47.1 now once we have this side bo we know these two are equal bo and let me call this as let me call this as e okay so BO is actually equals to EC. These are parallel lines. So both should be 47.1 meters. Now a small h, we can use the triangle, the vertical triangle here. So solving this particular triangle, we can say tan of 38 degrees should be equals to h over the base, which is 47.1 so height h is equals to 47.1 times tan of 38 degrees so we already have this angle uh, i mean 47.1 times tan of 38 degrees gives us 36. You can write 36.8. It is 803. So that becomes small h. So total height of the cliff is going to be, we have to add the height of the person. It should be 36.8 plus 1.58. Right? Since this was two decimals, I will prefer to write this as 80. Right? Okay. So let's add 36.80 with 1.58 and what we get here is 38.38 meters we can round this to 38 meters right so that is the answer so the height of the cliff is 38 so I hope these steps are absolutely clear. 
So the important thing which you need to consider is always the diagram. So if you sketch a good diagram, then it's kind of simpler to solve such questions. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.